Why hello there guys, UK Rail here, bringing you another video. Well, this is something that I didn't expect that I would actually do on this channel, because this is a game that I have played pretty much years ago. But hey, I've decided I want to do it, I've gotten back into it, and I thought, you know what, people have been asking me throughout the years of this channel, can you please do um, BB... BB4, BB2, Open BB, like now, this is the latest one and the early one since I can't remember the last time it was updated or whatnot. I'm doing it. I want to do it, and specifically, the only things I want to do on it is the London Underground, the tube, the maps, and the trains that are available um, to play. And that's why I'm going to make a little series of them, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Uh, we're starting out, I think um, one of the best ones for Open BB, I think the rest are like the kind of older BB2, BB4 version, so you can still play on Open BB, but I think this one is the best one in terms of modernization. It is the central line. It's only still, it's only a central line demo, unfortunately, that runs between Ealing Broadway, where we are currently, and it goes all the way up to Liverpool Street. Uh, it would have been cool if, um, if this whole route had been fleshed up fully, but it was only left as like a full finished demo. But still, you get quite a lot of stops and stuff like that, and you get a pretty cool train in this 1992 stop train. And you know, it's, it's you know, it's it's a pretty good train to be honest. And you know, I'm I'm looking forward to getting into the route. Um, shout before we get going. <laughs> Go to Leo Gaming and the Crush Guy. That's again Leo Gaming and the Crush Guy. Uh, the links and stuff will be down below. Uh, show them some love. Again, quick note for the shouts. I'm not taking any shouts currently, so please do not request one because I'm trying to go through the current list. Once that's finished, I'll gladly um, accept new shouts again. Thank you. So, Open BB. If you don't, if you guys don't know what Open BB is, or maybe this is the first. Uh, look that we're ever gonna have like I'm, I'm pretty sure that everybody does know what it is by now because it's so old but uh this is my first go i've been covering it on the uk rail channel uh it was it, it's an old simulator basically maybe the first iterations of bb4 bb2 um it's an old simulator basically where you're in a picture cab obviously this is uh this is open bb so i can move my mouse around but basically in the older versions, it was just a static thing where you were in a cab and you'd watch basically the tracks moving, and that was basically the experience. But now, of course, um, like since they've updated it, uh, they made a version like, uh, like sort of um, uh, like um, ooh, camera, come, come back to me, come back to me. They made like um, a version like sort of an like open world thing, which I thought, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, as I say, I think, I think, um, the central line on the northern line are, like, both good ones, and there's also, like, the Waterloo and City, which is also all right for Open BB, but obviously most of the, um, you're not going to be going into this, like, kind of camera view or whatnot, but this is the central line, probably the best one, I thought I'd start with the best one, why not, and the most kind of modern one, like, available for Open BB. Uh, the game way so you guys can download your heart content or whatever it's not that difficult to download i do believe you just go onto the website extract it and then you put basically you have a sound folder and a file folder and you put both of those together and then you have like separate routes for a train route uh, so you just put both of those together can be a little bit complicated or whatnot but it's not too bad not as fast as on C. but um yeah that's like, that's kind of it that's my kind of like run down of open bb like this is the john road like kind of old school simulator like the first iterations on pc that actually simulates this is like this being open bb like and the simulation for this volume three with the circle line which i feel um, that one is the best one in terms of graphics but i feel this one in terms of simulation and hopefully we'll get into it so we're here at Ealing Broadway uh, the doors are open uh, we go into our cab I do believe there's not much we have to do because the central line is obviously it's an automatic train operation so I actually have to drive the train I can if I put into a restricted manual 
there's only a certain speed I can go up to, so I'm going to have to drive it automatically where I just press two buttons to, make to activate the train. But I do believe to get the train rolling, I, I press insert or delete to get like the total key thing in, whatever it's called. And there we go. Now if I press page down, that activates obviously the PA, as you can hear. Now page down, now I see the manual. Manual. And if I press again, um, I do I do believe this goes into ATO now. Yeah, you get the little jingle and whatnot that comes up. So automatic train operation. Uh, there we go. Right. So there we go. And I think all we need to do, I, I do feel like we need to the reverse. To be honest, I feel that we need, I just need to um. I feel that all we need to do is we need to maybe put into forward or into forward but I'm pretty sure that because it's just automatic you don't really need to put into forward if you do I'm not too sure and now all we need to do is just get into neutral there we go now I, th I think I think that's done it should be in I think that's an ATO it should be hopefully and uh, we should have we should have departed quite some time ago but we're gonna be uh, naughty and actually let's go into the pre cam review here. Right, close the doors, uh F five two F five two um open and close the left side doors and F six to close and open the right side doors. There we go. Now to the ATO you put five and eight, not on the numpad, just the normal five and eight. There we go. And you hold for a few seconds. And there you go. ATO is on. I don't have to do anything. I can just sit back there and talk to you guys. And that's basically that's the central line. That's how it's happened in real life. I can't really drive it by myself unless if I put into restrictive manual, but uh, there's I'll only be able to go up to fifty miles the 15 miles per hour, which we don't want to do that for like the whole trip. Anyway, let's get back into the cab. Leaving Ealing Broadway, one of the two out of two terminuses, uh, West terminuses. So you do have your up one up all the way in West Road, Rice Slip, I think. And then you have Ealing Broadway, and then I think that's it. You have like other kind of terminus points like North Acton, which will pass in this. And uh, and I think that's it. I don't know. Uh, I literally like I, I don't know. I don't know if um if, uh if other trains terminate elsewhere. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know too much about the central line. The nineteen ninety two stock as well is one of my favourite lines. Like uh like available for this game. Well, you can see here some. You can see here some AI. It's not well some AI. I think that's only the only AI we'll get in the whole trip, and the actual camera is bugging out there. But yeah, that's the only AI we can get in the whole trip. I don't think there's any kind of like 1992 stops to put in, but you do get the uh, Golden and Green and HSTs there for First Great Western and the old Barbie. And what's cool, you get the uh, little, um, little authentic PA sound as well, which is really nice. Oh, this skillful driving by the, uh, by the AI, well not the AI, the computer. There we go. And you can see the like little countdown bar doesn't the well the screen does not turn on until we get into the station because like this, this engine is just so old. This is like such an old game. Like reliving this for me is just so old. Anyway, and close the doors. What what again to activate the ATO? 
There we go. And the screen does not go on until we pass the last um, stop marker thing. Like the record sounds like as I say, like and the texturing is like it's very good. And this is the bit like the sounds are again like they're they're like they're very good. Like this sounds good for like a um for like a nineteen ninety two like really weird. Really. I'm pretty content with it. Now, problem with the external view, this is, like, free camera view, I don't know how to be said it so it appears to where my train is. Uh, sorry guys, this is something very really bad. The external view that's linked to the train, I can actually, if I'm skillful here, I can actually use it, and then, like, um, adjust it here, and put it, and put it inside the train, so we have, like, an, a little interior view. And I say the interior is actually pretty good. Like, doing and whatnot, but you know, I can deal with this. This is something, this is something like uh, that's really nice. And oh my god, the camera is just tilting around because it's very loosey turvy. Like, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't tend to move. But then if you put it near the back of the train, it it tends to move with the train. And as I say, you know. And, like, as I say, it tends to move with the train, and it can be a little bit annoying. So, I would suggest if you want an interior camera, put it in the front view so it doesn't actually move and be annoying. Because, as I say, I think, I think the uh, center point for this um, interior, exterior attached camera is, like, somewhere in the front here, like where I am right now, and it's not in the back, so it doesn't really want you to do that. Right. Factor. There we go. Ooh, perfect stopping ATO position. Very nice. We're a tiny bit late, but who cares? Right, I'm just going to, and these camera controls here, they're, they're very interesting. Like, all I can say is, um, just explore the numpad. Explore, explore the numpad keys, and you're just going to get used to it. It's really like, um, sort of, um, empty S, if you know what I mean. There we go. Yeah, the cool countdown displays work perfectly. They go to mind the doors and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Well, I'm just going to hop to the front because I want to I wanna step in here. Do that a little bit. There we go. Right, and let's, um, let's roll from North Acton. When I kind of turn back point stations, I think services in rush hour tend to terminate in North Acton to go back into the centre. Right, back to the front. We had a little bit of cues from the um, interior of the train. the central line the central line spans so much I, I don't know I don't think it's the longest line on the network I think the longest line is the distant line the central line is long but they did have the Epping to Ombre branch still attached to it in real life and I would feel it's like kind of um kind of completed with the with the with the with the district line Right, East Acton, I do believe, or we're going through all the Actons today, aren't we? Perfect. And as I say, you can see there the uh, little, like, the watches, like, let me know. You'd see there the countdown bar is working, well, at least 
watch that that's down I'm assuming the stations and those little chimes I'm assuming are telling me that the ATO is going to let me know that ATO is still operating properly who knows right stand to the door the doors, this train is ready to depart. There we go. Like, look at here. Like, look at that. And the graphics are like, they're very, they're very good. Like, graphics are on here, like, they're a lot better than this. You know, this is pretty funny. Here, the second time switches tracks, and I think it's going to be like based on the whole line where, like, for this short distance up to White City and then up to Shepherd's Bush, um, like, there's like um, a point like where it like switches, I think. I don't know because, like, this, like, this track would be normally like based on like underneath Westfield, I think. line is like it's like it's it's like this map is based before Westfield so it's like like years ago when there was no Westfield here there was just like old sheds and stuff like that um that they were there uh, right white city Like it's it stretches a lot the central line. Right. Right, coming into White City. There we go. I saw the um Sanvus Andreas have there. So obviously there's no, there's not going to be any West Hills up the here ahead. Been based like early 2000s. Yeah, beautiful. Also, White City is um a sort of terminus station as well for turn back for some trains. I think. I'm guessing during rush hour again. It's a cool station. If you let's go and have a look at it. There we go. I think I think the middle platform is the kind of terminus platform, and I don't think it serves through trains. I'm not too sure. I'm really not too sure. Beautiful. This train actually can open it like both of its doors. It can't open them simultaneously together. It has to open one side then the next. And I think this is showcase. I think at Stratford they have a platform like they do at White City. Anyway. Let's get back in here. Right, this is pretty top. This is a bit of a pretty fort. Right. So right here in front of us, well today, is Westfield Shopping Centre. Back then, when there was no Westfield, there were just like sheds. And I think here is the um, where the Hammersmith and City and Circle Line passes would be the new Wood Lane station, I do believe. I think, and then I think also there's like an old disused um, station of Wood Green here. And now, venture underground into into darkness until Liverpool Street. That was the only bit of light we were going to get in this journey. Kind of, I press seven. I can put the lamp in. I can put the tablet on, but I kind of like it off, to be honest. Like you, you can see the speedometer there, and um, like like the watch there. I think, I think it's because I think you're not supposed to drive with a cab light on. I think that's also, and we're getting a lot of flanging.
Yeah, but as I say, like, I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's legal to, like, drive with a cab light on, because, like, 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 like drivers, like, they can't see, um, much outside when there's no, no to, like, in, like, interviewing inside, and I think this is, like, on, for bus drivers as well, like, like, um, they can't drive with much light in the cab, so that's why when you go to board a bus at night, uh, the front, like, the front lights turn on, but then when you actually, but then when the doors close, they turn off, because they like they're kind of canned as crap. There we go. Shepherd's Bush, and we're now on the correct side again, we're on the left. Uh, the other track now is on the other side. The right. There we go. And in today, you uh, normally, well, back then, uh, you couldn't change for anything here. Now there's obviously the London Overground Shepherd's Station. National Rail Southern Service Station above ground. It's down to the closing doors. There we go. But as I was saying, I'll link down below the uh, website that I get these lines for PV games basically like I don't know I don't know what my next video will be on I think it might be the uh, Waterloo and City line so we're not changing train but we sort of changing trains I think that will be with the like kind of older older livery the blue one I think now so I, I think that will be the next one and then I'll cycle through all the lines in the state area and then come back and make like, like, kind of all the stuff. Right. Holland Park. Been to Holland Park many times. It's such a lovely park. It has a has a lovely, lovely botanical gardens there. Like, like I used to go a lot when I was a kid. I did once like fall into the um like when I was a little child. Like, like I was like they had this like botanical like pond and they had all this like botanical fish in there and I was like going up close because I like like looking at the fish in there like I actually fell into the pond it was so embarrassing and it was like like I think it was like it was like December I think it was like one of the December where it actually snowed so it was like ice cold I just remember it like I was wearing as well a puffy jacket so I drowned in and my whole jacket wet and it was like so embarrassing and like going home was just so horrible, like all soggy and wet. No experience I want I would want anyone else to feel. Oops, they didn't close. Down clear. Let's go again into Did I open the right doors? Sorry there, the left door seemed to open no more. Maybe I can open Camera. It like it looks really good. Like like in the tunnels. Like like I do sometimes sleep in here. Like when I'm in the tunnels and etc. And like being in this passenger view, it like it looks really realistic. Oh, 
color is red? White. Mm, that is right. Districts and circle lines, Notting Hill Gate for the Notting Hill Gate Carnival, which is actually coming up near the end of August, I do believe. But as I was saying, I'll link down below these um, BB lines that I get for um, open BB like games. I, th I think this one is actually compatible with most of them, and I think I, like I think the only lines that they haven't done. Like, I, I think they've got all of them. I, I think the, like, as I say, the only lines that they haven't done are the, uh, the, uh... No, I actually, I actually genuinely, I think, I think they have all of them. But, like, the only thing that, like, they're missing out is that, like, as I say, like, they're not, as I say, they're not all complete. Like, say, this line here is, it's not the full. And that was, like, one of my, like, the, like, little, like, sort of, um, like, little things. So, yeah, they're not actually full lines, but they, like, I, I think they have everything. There we go. This is Queensway? There we go. Where to go? Oh, doors haven't closed again. It has this like little thing where the doors won't close. So I've had a, like a little. I like. I like to feel that that maybe like stimulates maybe a passenger trying to run on board and, and then stops the doors from closing or whatever. But yeah, I actually, I, I think they have all of them, like, for BB lines. I, I, I think they have all of them. I'm a little chat there going off to the right. I think that connects up to another branch or somewhere. I don't think that's a siding. I do believe there's a siding at Marble Arch. Sometimes it's at Marble Arch when things go wrong or whatever. But yeah, I, I think they have, like, they have all of them. There's even, there's even a DLR, like, line. But then there's no London Overground. There's no... Yeah, I think they have all of them. Like, honestly, I do. Yeah. Yeah, they... I honestly, I, I think they do have all of them. They have, they have, uh, um... So, like, they have Central, Waterloo and City, uh, Bakerloo, Circle, District, Metropolitan, Victorian, you know, etc. And that was a thing. Yeah, I think they have all of them. But as I say, um, the only thing that they're missing out now is that all these like lines that are playable, but like don't have the full route. That's the only thing that they're missing out. There we go. I honestly think they do. Wait, what? Oh, I'm opening. What I'm doing is this. I, like, I'm doing this. Like, when I'm closing it, I'm opening it like the other one. So, that's and that's a that's a that's a bit awkward. <laughs> Buy Lancaster. Key. Oh, the camera.
I think this is where the uh, the siding comes up here on the right. Marble Arch. Marble Arch is a home to the, uh, you know, the uh, famous arch. Also, one of the uh, one of the many stations along High Park. It's huge, and well, it's not huge, but it actually has it actually has quite a lot of tube stations surrounding it. Like obviously, you have High Park Corner, you have Knight Bridge, you have Marble Arch. All of the stations that. Like we just passed, like right now, like Lancaster Gate, Queens Gate, etc. Like all of those along, like along the um, uh, Northern Path, High Park. So essentially, anywhere you go in London uh, from High Park, you go down to a tube station. It's it's crazy. Very modern station, Bond Street. I think it's going over some like renovations currently. Yes, change for the Jubilee line. It was always actually kind of funny, like when I think about it. Like, I think like loads of trains are getting replaced now. Um, like I think I think like all of the trains like have been refurbished or whatever. I think I think the Central Line is getting replaced before the Piccadilly Line. They're going to actually replace these 1992 stops. Um, I think I think the Piccadilly Line. It's gonna get replaced before the uh, before the central line, but then the Bakerloo line is literally the last line that's getting modernised. Altogether, I think everyone's like I think the Circle, Hammersmith and City, and now Metropolitan line are, are all in shape, and I think the District line has a few remaining D stops out there. I'm not too sure. They're crazy, the tube. to Oxford Circus, one of the, if not, busiest tube stations along the uh, network. Like, any time I've been there, it's been, like, mega, mega busy, like, chock-a-block with people. Crazy. There we go. This, that is right, change for Bakerloo and Victoria and there we go. Right. Like 
this TV, like, it's it good. It's, like, it's good. I'm, I'm enjoying this, guys. Like, very good, like, sounds, like, the flange and stuff you guys think of it. Like, it really up the stations. It's actually, like, you know, it's, it's actually, it's actually pretty good. Like, let's, let's be honest. It's actually, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's very good, guys. Like, I do, like, I, I do, like, be like be done in a like a more modern way it's actually had passing just moved etc but you know the nothing just moving in this doesn't really bother me because the sound is so good the texture of the screens is is actually pretty good let's go around and have a little investigation in Like, look at this, look at this, guys, like, like, the texture is, like, it's, it's very good, look at that. Like, look at this, I've been to Tottenham Court Road many times, this is obviously before the refurbishment of the you know, it's, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a very good map. Uh, can't even get a thumbnail shot. Oh, right. Leaving Tottenham Court Road. Feels very good. I do love the sounds in it for me. There we go. Very nice. seems to be on the left here at Haven. I want the point in time we get to put on our Piccadilly line service to Aldrich. Like pretty much the only reason why they like they closed down the old bridge branch because of the it was because of the shame of the lifts they weren't operating properly so they had to just shut that part down. So if the lifts hadn't been an issue, we probably had, would have had a Holborn branch. I mean an Albridge branch. So I'd say the Holborn branch. That was a message from the uh, controller. You get them spread it, please. So we're now coming up into the basically the city end of London, uh, Chancery Lane, Bank, St Paul's, and then Liverpool Street, really. If you like need any help, like um, like getting Boop and BB together, as I say, I will, I will do something like for you guys if you want me to. Like um, as I say, you only need to 
get your user data for OpenBB and the likes of BB train routes. Can be too difficult. Contact me, guys. There we go. There's a guy telling us of a signal failure healing hallway due to a district line train, I think. <laughs> Coming into St. Paul's. Like, I always forget that St. Paul's is a tube station, but, like, of its own, it never, never comes to me. Sadly, but we have one more. I, th I, th I think we have one more. Let's do some uh, passenger view driving, shall we? You have a look at the central line map right there. Oh yeah, it was rest uh rice lit the the other time this Oh we do have one more station, it's Bank, Bank's the next station where you can change for the circle, district, northern and waterloo and city and dock things like rail. Since we took quite a sharp turn into this station. Oh, there's a Rice City there. Rice City advert. Let's go out and have a quick S um, investigation. There we go. The next station, sadly, is Liverpool Street. And I'm really sad about that. Oh god, what did I do? I did nothing. These cameras! One thing I don't like is these cameras. These cameras are just not optimised whatsoever. Can't even get a thumbnail.
thing is I can't do a flyby thing because this camera, if I shut the doors and there we go. Because if I, I can't do a flyby thing because uh, if I start the train, the camera will follow the train, annoyingly. Because if I, if I reset camera, yeah, can't, can't do it. But yeah guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I have. I've enjoyed showing you Open BBE. Even though it's a little bit of 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 a little bit I think we come into uh, quite a sharp turn at Liverpool Street, actually. Oh, yes. Right, there we go. Coming into Liverpool Street. Look at that! There we go. Anyway guys, this is the last stop. This is where you need to take all your personal belongings with you when before leaving the train. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. This, my, this was my episode 1 on playing the Central Line. I will um I will do the um some more lines in the states area and I will I hope you guys will enjoy the uh, the series and you know etc and etc. Yeah, so comment below if you if you want tell me tell me if you there's a specific line you want me to do and I think that's it I think if I uh, close the doors you'll see what happens. Any, anyway, it's a red signal, so we can't go forwards. And you, you'll, you'll see what happens. There we go. Like the the ATO stops there. There we go. And it says here the eastbound section is coming soon, which it's not because it's said it to me, sadly. And as I say, this is the only, like, you can't go the other way. It's only meant for eating Broadway to Liverpool Street. But, you know, I'll take it. It's like, it's like that. But there's no... Obviously, there's no return journey. So that's annoying, but... There we go. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have. I've enjoyed showing you Open BB and, you know, etc. And shouts again go to Leo Gaming and the Crush Guy. That's again Leo Gaming and the Crush Guy. Uh, links and stuff will be down below. Please do show them some love. Again, quick note for the shouts. Please do not request any because I'm trying to go through the current list. Once that's finished, I'll gladly continue taking shots again. Take care, guys, and have a lovely day. Bye.